Okay, so the other day I was experimenting with the MDADM utility in Linux uh, where you can create RAID setups. I was uh, setting up a simple RAID 1 with uh, mirroring disks and I have two SSDs uh, on 128 gigabytes that I was testing with. And uh, the uh, MD admin wasn't expecting exactly was as I uh, thought, so it was a bit of a learning for me. So I will just share my experience here. So let's just jump into this terminal, and I have this uh, SDA and SDA C disks. So creating a RAID one. Uh, I was doing it on the partitions and not on the actual disk, so let's just use F disk to set up two partitions that are equal sizes. First I create a new GPT disk label and I will set up a new partition. And just so this won't take too much time, let's just say plus one uh, plus two gigabytes and we fill the last one as well and we write it so here we see our two gigabyte partition let's do the same for dev sdc so new gpt disk label new partition first sector last sector plus two gigabytes Create the last one as well, and we write it. So ls blk, it shows us we have two partitions, one on each drive, which is two gigabytes. So let's set up the RAID 1 using the MD admin utility. We do MD admin create propose dev md0 that will be the name of the raid device we say level is one that means we will mirror the disks or well the partitions we say raid devices is two we want to use dev sda1 and dev sdc1 create the array yes okay so the raid is started. Uh, we can check the progress by doing cat proc md stat. So you see it's resyncing, and since this is only two gigabyte partitions, it will be completed within a few seconds. So there it is. Uh, we can uh, as well do uh, hang on uh, md admin d. Uh, dev md0 it will show us that we have two partitions in active sync state so let's create a mount point i already have it under uh, mount md0 uh, so it's empty right now but let's do mount dev md0 mount md0 oh of course i need to create a file system before we can mount it so mkfs.ext4 dev md0 created a file system now we can mount it and we can jump right into mount md0 and here we are this is our raid partition we can create files Okay, we, let's create a directory and in the, that directory we create a file test.txt and now everything that I save here under mnt md0 will be saved on both the drives since they are mirrored and remember we can check this uh, the status cut proc md stat uh, oh sorry, uh, well it's already up and running so md add d, uh, it's, I think it's for details dev md0 
and it, they're active and sinking. Uh, let's stop that for now. Uh, in the next video I will show what happens if you remove a Ray device and how to add it again and how to get your data out of it. So.